G'day guys, we are back with some more Dome Keeper. Hope you're all doing well. In the previous episode, we again had our asses handed to us after attempting multiple times using the Assessor to try and defeat the you asked for it difficulty and uh, yeah well I wasn't really expecting it to go so well so <laughs> it was kind of expected but uh, at this stage in our playthrough of Dome Keeper we've sort of tried almost everything that the game has to offer and uh, I figure we'll be wrapping up the series pretty soon so for this particular episode might actually start getting into a few additional sort of crazy things if you will so uh, let's get things started um when i say crazy i think i'm actually going to apply all of the modifiers in this particular round um there's a few modifiers that make it a little bit easy in my opinion but then there's quite a few others that make it uh, a lot harder and uh, we haven't actually done so well with some of them like uh, for example the, the double iron modifier so uh, we'll see how we go uh, by applying all of it now uh, while we plan for all of this I'm just going to make sure that we sort of give us a little bit of a chance of winning uh, which means that I'm going to set the keeper to the engineer and uh, hopefully that'll actually let us uh, you know pull out a win and secondly I think we'll probably stick with the dome sorry with the sword dome this time around because uh, we discovered how powerful the um, uh, electric sword and the uh, I guess bomb stab is so we'll hopefully be able to pull out a win with that. Uh, pet wise we're gonna stick with the cat and uh, gadgets. I think the orchard is probably still the best gadget so we'll stick with the orchard and hopefully uh, that'll do us some good. And yeah here it is so let's set things up. I think what we'll do is we'll go with the brutal difficulty. We'll stick with the medium map size but we will switch on every single modifier that we have. So quick and feeble which is going to uh, make the enemies move faster but die quicker. Then we've got long cycles which means that each cycle will last longer but also uh, I guess the enemies will uh, I guess take longer to sort of subside so enemy waves are going to be longer. Then there's the maze which means that uh, finding our way is going to be a lot harder. And then the most dreaded modifier of all, double iron and uh, double the cost of all upgrades. So <laughs> I don't know if this is going to go well guys but uh, we shall soon find out. Let's get going. Alright, um, I'm just trying to think here what the strategy should be but uh, look as long as we try and get the basics down right, maybe our timing and uh, just making sure that we you know focus on soft soil when we can I think that'll be for the best and uh, yeah we do actually have the uh, the teleporter off the bat so uh, I forgot that we uh, managed to get the teleporter last time so we'll bring that with us for a moment but uh, I think we'll just leave it there we probably won't use the teleporter until we get a little bit further into the mine. Chuck that there. Okay, let's just take a look at our upgrades for a second here. So we've got six. Um, I think when we go with the engineer, we generally try and get the drill strength pretty quickly. So let's try and aim for that. Fortunately, we still don't have enough for that drill strength. Uh, and we do have to keep in mind that we've got, uh, I guess, long cycles here, so which means that we should be able to drill for a little bit longer. Let's actually bring this back and uh, we should be able to get our first drill upgrade. Okay. Let's get that. And let's keep going. Oh, 
probably want to think about getting our carry strength immediately as well, because I think when we were doing the double iron last time, we sort of mentioned that uh, carry strength is probably going to be key to try and succeed. So we'll try and get to carry strength pretty soon if we can. Now the timing is something that I'm a little bit weary of here because uh, it is going to be a little bit weird, right? I'm just sort of listening to the music for when it stops like then. <laughs> so uh, we didn't time that right. Oh my lord, okay. We're already under attack. Alright, let's... Ah, oh, man. Okay, we took a few hits there. Not great. Um, but look, I think uh, we might still have a chance. <laughs> it's still only the first wave, guys, and things are already not going so well. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll persevere as much as we can. Eventually, we do want to clear out the entire area underneath the dome, so... But for now, let's just try and find some more iron. Game, please. Some more iron. When you're ready. Okay, a little bit of cobalt is not bad. We don't exactly need it right now, though. Okay, let's grab that upgrade. And, um... Since it is long cycles, I think we could afford to potentially just bring this upgrade back home. I'm getting real nervous about the timings, guys, considering, you know, sometimes some waves we don't even have any music. So <laughs> perhaps we should actually uh, invest in the proximity meter. But uh, anyway, we do have our first upgrade here. I think I'm going to go with the resource converter. It's been a while since we've got the resource converter and this might actually help us with the iron problem. And when I say iron problem, the, the cost problem. So let's get that going. And uh, as soon as we can, we'll upgrade it so that we can produce iron from iron. Uh, but let's see here. Can we get the proxy meter? We can. Let's do it. I know we were saving for carry strength, but I think getting the proxy meter is probably worth it at this point. a mid-flight. That's pretty good. Alright, let's keep going here. And uh, there's a few things that I really, really want. I want all of this water because we'll be able to immediately use that water to upgrade the converter to what we need. And um, we'll go ahead and... Oh lord. Okay, I uh, misclicked there, guys. You need to remember that picking these things up is actually the other, uh... Uh, not the other button. It's a, it's a long press. So, uh... Yeah, gotta remember that. Alright, so... Let's grab another four. That is still feeling pretty heavy. But a tiny bit of time. that off and uh, let's see here can we get our carry strength right away I think we can and um, yeah another eight iron plus the two water that we already have we should be able to get iron duplication which will be really good got a little bit of time here to try and hit a few more rocks so let's just do that and go back and let's defend here Thank you. 
Okay, we're gonna need to get our uh, health meter sometime pretty soon as well, I'm thinking. <laughs> oh lord, this is not going so great. But again, we'll uh, stick to it. Who knows, we might be able to turn things around. And you know, that's the addictive thing about this game, guys. So once you can sort of turn things around from what seems like, you know, utter destruction and failure, it's such a good feeling. Um, and conquering some of the harder difficulties is really, really nice as well. So uh, just the sense of achievement is um, really, really awesome. All right, so I think what I'll do is I'll grab all of the cobalt and I'm also going to grab all of this. I think we should be able to carry all of it in the one go. I think we should have enough time for that. Okay, let's take a look here. So what can we, can we upgrade right away? Um, okay, we're one iron shy of getting the iron duplication right now, so that's a little bit frustrating. Um, but I think perhaps maybe what we can do is get the health meter, just so that we can monitor that from now. And surely we're going to find a little bit more iron in the next one, so um, yeah, we should be able to upgrade the converter. And from there, hopefully our iron problems will be no more. Alright, well, those flyers are definitely a problem, aren't they? <laughs> let's quickly grab that. And yeah, let's look for some more iron here. Hopefully there will be a little bit more around here. Haven't really felt the effects of the um, the maze just yet, guys. Um, I was thinking by now we would have hit a few dead ends, but uh, that hasn't been the case, so... This is a tiny bit heavy. I think we're being a little bit greedy, but it's okay. Okay, so let's get our iron duplication going. And uh, speaking of iron duplication, we could probably get the duplicator going right now, right? So, uh, hang on, guys. Did I even get the the right uh, thing? Ah, oh, bloody hell, I didn't. I got water conversion. Oh lord, okay. Um, that was a big waste, guys. Uh, I'm not entirely sure of this run. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to save a little bit more money to see if we can get the iron duplication now. Plus we need some more water as well. Ah, oh, bloody hell. What a fatal mistake. Okay, um, not looking great. Let's actually use some of our cobalt. And, uh, yeah, let's continue this process of trying to find stuff. Who knows, guys, we might be able to turn things around. I mean, I've, uh, definitely made a critical error in this particular playthrough, but, uh, you know what? You know, I could easily, like, stop this, uh, recording and just redo it, but... <laughs> perhaps, maybe, it's okay to keep this going. Uh, at least we can see the the results of uh, coolly 
uh, fully considered choices. Okay. Now we're starting to see the effects of, uh, the... The maze. I feel like this might be a little bit far, but, uh, I do really want this water and I do want the cobalt as well. Come on! Okay, we've got these big boys coming in now. Come on! Oh my lord! Oh, Alright. <laughs> this is a problem, guys. Uh, let me just quickly take a sip of my uh, coffee here, just to keep me going a little bit. Oh, alright. Well, uh, let's grab the fruit. Probably going to be the last fruit that we eat. And, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Alright. Pretty big haul here. Um, we are moving a little bit slowly, though. I don't know if I should drop one. Let's, uh, just drop one for now. I mean, with this much health, I'm not even sure if this is going to do anything for us, but... We'll just quickly check on our upgrades and see what we might be able to do. Um, can go into some cobalt. Because if we don't, we're going to die pretty much. Um, a blade upgrade would be nice to try and fend these things off a little bit more. Um... I wonder if we have enough time to bring, like, one more piece of iron back. Bit risky here, but who knows, it might pay off. Okay, this is probably an ill-conceived plan. Ah, oh, yes, okay. Yeah, we're getting a lot of hits there. <laughs> okay, so let's get that blade and uh, let's see if we can make something happen here. Come on. Okay, that felt a little bit better. At least the blade is moving a little bit faster as well now, which is good. Alright, let's bring the teleporter down with us here. And uh, we could probably just leave it there. Grab all of this. Again, maybe I should just leave one piece down there. Come on. Like, I probably need, like, some movement speed here as well. Okay, uh, definitely nothing that we can upgrade just yet. Let's teleport back down there. See if we can grab the rest of this. Okay, and we're still moving pretty quickly here, so... I think we should be able to get home in time. I 
think we're cutting it very, very close. Oh lord, okay, we've got these big flyers already. Um, we've got 11 in the bank. Um, yeah, look, let's, let's do iron duplication here. And, uh, if we survive, hopefully we can turn things around with this. So, let's do it. Don't you dare. Ah. All right. <laughs> Bloody hell. All right, guys. Um, mistakes were definitely made in that one. So, um, gonna ha have to be extra careful with um, the upgrades when we select those. Uh, and, uh, yeah, make sure that we're actually getting the upgrades that we actually want. So, let's do this again. But this time, I think I'll take the resource converter off the bat and see if we can actually make things happen with the res resource converter early on. Um, I have a feeling we probably won't really be using the resource converter immediately, but if we can get the iron duplication upgraded really, really quickly, then I think this is going to be really strong. So let's do it. And uh, yeah. I won't sort of dilly-dally anymore, let's start another run. Ah, here we go again. Of course the enemies are going to switch up, right? So, uh, it's not exactly like we'll be able to sort of follow the same exact strategy, but uh, who knows? We might get lucky. Let's chuck that there. We'll carry these two and just continue digging for a little bit. Okay, this is a little bit painful, guys. Haven't seen much iron at all. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright. Okay, so at least this uh, this will be enough for a drill upgrade. Definitely much needed here. So let's get that and what I might do is I'll just stick around very very close to the dome. Oh, in fact we just have to go back right away. Big swing here. Oh bloody hell. Alright. Immediately back down and see if we can retrieve the rest of this iron. Again, we'll uh, try and aim for getting the carry strength. Yeah, I think we should actually have enough for carry strength right now, so that's really good. And I think we won't worry about iron duplication until we actually find a little bit of water. So no water just yet. Maybe continue around this side. Actually, it's looking a little tough over there, so maybe we'll continue towards the left first. 
Or maybe not. Might be a dead end around here. Okay, the timing... Ah, oh, there we go. I was gonna say, it's really hard to read when the timing is, so... Perhaps maybe we do want to try and get the uh, proxy meter sometime soon. We probably can get it right away, actually. So that will be very useful. Okay, good stuff. Uh, actually, we should grab the fruit. Won't say no to that. Okay, we'll just continue with the fruit power while we can in uh, these tougher areas. And then we'll work on some other patches. Here's the water that we actually need. Okay. Let's, uh bring this hole back and I think we can probably do like one more pass try and um, get the rest of this iron was that only one water molecule jeez stingy ass game <laughs> Okay, um, can we upgrade anything? I think we probably don't really have enough for anything here. Probably go into the health meter if we wanted to. Let's save for the time being. Whew, come on. Those explodey guys are going to be very, very dangerous considering how fast they move. I do not like that at all. Okay, let's drop this off and so we've got another six. Um, I really want one more water molecule, guy, <laughs> Just so that we can finally get our iron duplication, please. Um, look, let's get the slice improvement, because we're going to need that eventually anyway, so we might as well. I mean, I'm really happy about finding Cobalt, guys, don't get me wrong, but, uh... You don't exactly need it right now. That's the water that I needed. Okay. Let's just bring all of this back. And, uh, I think in the next one we should be able to get our iron duplication in order. So... It's gonna be really good. Yep, okay. So, can't really spend on anything right now, but uh, at least we're back here, ready to defend. Let's do it. Big swing. Nice. Okay, that wasn't too bad of a defense, I think. Come on, give me the fruit. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, wasted a little bit of time there. That's really annoying. Okay. 
pull this back immediately. And I think we should be able to get the, um, the iron duplication going right now. And as a result, we should actually be able to start that process. So in two and a half cycles, we should be able to get some more iron from the converter. So let's continue digging a little bit more around this side. Thank you very much. I'll take that. I can't remember exactly what this power-up does, but I know that we're sort of moving a little bit faster. We're perhaps also are digging a lot harder, where it improves the, the dig strength, potentially. I mean, I could be wrong, guys. <laughs> okay. Just cleared up a few tiles there. We'll spend the next cycle grabbing all the stuff that we can see down there. So, um, can't really spend on anything. So I'll probably just spend on the health meter because we can. All right, let's defend. Oh, that was painful. Okay, let's take some of our cobalt here. Um, we've got to find a way to deal with those explodey boys. Um, I don't know. If we get an upgrade and it turns out to be a stun laser, I think I'll actually take that because uh, that's going to be really useful against those things. Although they do eventually transform into the larger versions, which, you know, can't exactly be taken out by those stun lasers in the end. So we've got to sort of consider that as well, I suppose. And I think the random upgrade that we can pick up that definitely respawns every now and then right so I should actually check back around that area every now and then pick it back up if we can okay so we've got 12 now um, so we could probably go into something else if we wanted to ideally I'd like to get like snare roots at some point but we need a little bit more water for that. I think we should strengthen the stab. That might actually let us sort of defend a little bit better, even during the early stages. Try and preserve some of our HP. Okay, let's head back. Get ready for this next defense. Okay, taking damage from those flyers, I think, was the lesser of the two evils. <laughs> I think it couldn't be helped, so let's actually leave the fruit for now. Just gonna continue digging here for a little bit. Grab the fruit a little bit later. Can we get through here? Yes, we can. And there's the water that we need.
I think if we grab the fruit, we should be able to be able to quickly pick up the rest of the iron and the water down there. Might even be able to actually do a little bit more digging. Okay, let's go. Oh, we'll grab that as well. No! No! Okay, mistakes were made. <laughs> um, got 12 and 2. Well, if we wanted to, we could go into snare roots, but that's not really going to give us the effect of uh, being able to use it in this battle, so let's actually save for the moment. Okay, that was really good. Um, yeah, I think we should get snare roots right away. Definitely going to help us in the next battle. Okay. Just looking for the resources that we dropped here. Okay, let's bring this home. Uh, as I said, guys, so... If we get the stun laser, I might get that, but I won't say no to a teleporter either. Yeah, I think it's going to be the stun laser for sure. Um, I should also get some more iron processing here. Alright, let's keep digging. We're going to maybe work on the sides a little bit more here. Again, uh, in this particular playthrough, I'm not really seeing the effects of the maze modifier. Um, which is, I guess, not a bad thing, but I hope I had it selected properly. I assume I did, because I didn't really change anything before going into this one, so... Okay, all things considered, I think that could have gone worse. So, not a bad effort. Continue working on this side. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, we've probably got a little bit of time to work with to try and dig around here, but just got to be careful that we don't overdo it. Come on. 
All right. So, um, okay, we've got nine. I'm thinking speed might be a good idea just to try and get around a little bit faster. Let's do that. Very good. I just need to deal with this last one. Oh man, that could have gone really bad. <laughs> okay. We're moving a lot faster now. That's feeling really good. Okay, here's the the dead ends. Okay, not great. There we go. I'm just trying to think what would be the best upgrades to consider getting next. Or should we be saving for our next blade upgrade? Which is going to be quite expensive. Um, yeah, I think we should start saving, to be honest, guys. Uh, I think the blades are pretty much going to be like critical for us to to survive this uh, entire ordeal. So bring that with us, and I think we should have enough time here to get back. I feel like I keep overshooting that. All right. annoying enemy. <laughs> um, Alright, let's use a couple more of our cobalt. Let's hope we uh, find a few more. Keep converting some more iron. And uh, what I'm going to do is actually swing by this way very quickly. Dig out the, uh, the iron that we can already see here. Well, don't exactly need to dig it out, do we? Just need to carry it. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything over there. Nice find, actually. So, with the duplicator, I think in two more cycles, we should definitely have enough for another blade upgrade. Guaranteed. So, hopefully we can hold out till then. Go back. Actually, we don't even need to wait till uh, a couple of cycles. We should be able to get the the next blade upgrade in the next one. Hmm. Okay. Quicker than I thought. Focus on this side, I think. Oh, 
Oh lord, okay. We're definitely needing some more cobalt right now. Whew. Actually, we haven't been using the snare roots properly, have we? Bloody hell. Grab the fruit as well, just to boost our speed a little bit. Grab the rest of the iron. Let's go. Nice. We should have a little bit of time to Try and make a little bit more space here. Okay, good stuff. So, we've got enough for the blade upgrade that we need. I think we'll go with long blade one. And yeah, we'll try and work our way towards electrified blade. Hopefully we'll get there, but uh, we'll see how we go. We do only have one more cobalt to work with, so... Things might not go so well. Oh lord, here we go. Damn it. Okay, they're not done yet. Whew, alright. Um, let's get that cobalt in. And, uh, just have to pray very, very hard that we manage to survive the next ones. Either that, or we find some cobalt in this cycle. Oh my lord. Okay. <laughs> Alright, um, let's not dilly dally too much around here. Probably grab water. That's feeling a little bit heavy, but I think we'll make it. Okay, um, whew, maybe we do need an upgraded, like, shield or something. Let's actually grab the rest of the iron there, and perhaps maybe we should just invest in this. Maybe we can block a, a few more of those projectiles. That could perhaps let us survive a little bit longer. Do this. Okay, that was good. Alright, let's...
let's see. I'm a little bit confused, guys, as to where we should keep working on, but uh, maybe we'll heed our own advice and try and work on some of the softer soil here. Yes. Oh, this is really paying off. <laughs> Maybe I should listen to my own advice a lot more. Okay. I think what I'll do is I'll drop this off. I think we should be able to grab the fruit by the time we're there. And that should give us the speed boost that we need to grab another batch. Then we'll see what sort of upgrades we can get with uh, the amount of iron that we have. Yep, I think this should be okay. No problems. Okay, very good. Um, let's see. The problem with increasing the shield size is that it does reduce the sword agility. Um, but if we do improve the long blade even more, we get even more agility later on down the track, so... Um, we could go into Explosive Prey if we wanted to. But I'm inclined to perhaps save for something like Long Blade 2. Even, like, maybe Carry Strength might be good. So, let's save. Oh no. I really hate these things, guys. <laughs> All right, um, let's keep going. If we can fetch the rest of that iron. I don't know. I'm uh, tossing and turning between saving or spending on some more carry strength right now. Uh, tough choice. I think I'm gonna go with the carry strength guys because uh, got a little bit of cobalt and if we find some pretty big batches of iron will actually be able to bring that home a lot quicker. I feel like at the moment we're spending quite a few cycles just trying to retrieve the iron, so if we can spend less time during the cycles trying to retrieve the iron all the time, maybe that might help. So let's do it. Um, we've got plenty of time, don't we? Let's go. It's a shame, really, because we had, like, that very, very big batch that we've just taken back. So now we're just looking for more iron, but if we get lucky... Speaking of getting lucky, this is a really good find. Okay. Um... I think we better go home now. Running out of time.
to actually spend one cobalt just for comfort. Nice. Okay, all things considered, I think that was really good. <laughs> uh, not gonna lie guys, I'm uh, feeling the sweats right now. Whew. Okay, that's pretty horrible. Give me some more iron. Hmm, another upgrade. Ooh, and a bunch of iron here. That's nice. Okay, um... Oh man, this is very, very tough. We're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> Hopefully they give us quite a lot though, and we can finally make use of all of our carry strength. Come on. Let's just bring this home with us for now. I think um, if we actually get the fruit in the next cycle, we should be able to dig through all of the tough soil down there pretty quickly. Should be able to get that iron. No problem. Um. Alright. Um, what do we want to do here? Do we want to spend on anything or do we want to save? Recently I haven't really been upgrading anything to do with the stun laser, but... I don't know, I feel like we probably don't need to. It's probably better if we save for the long blade. So let's just continue to do that. See how we go here. Just need to be very careful. Make good decisions during our defense. said make good decisions during our defense. Ah. Oh. I swear guys, those things are the most annoying things. Um all right, we're already out of cobalt. So, um that means the upgrade that we found here we're gonna have to shred that, guys. Unless we miraculously find some cobalt between now and taking the the upgrade back. Because I don't really think I want any more upgrades at this point. Can't be bothered trying to invest in any of those upgrades. Come on. A little bit more. Okay, good stuff. Okay, that's, uh... Yeah, still feeling pretty good. We'll probably even spend a little bit of time clearing some tiles out. We have enough time to fetch that upgrade. We do. Let's 
go. Um, no. <laughs> oh, wow. That was a bad decision, guys. You know what was an even worse decision? Not using the, uh snare roots at the right time. Ah, oh, lord. Okay, let's bring this cobalt back. Yeah, I mean, none of these are worthwhile anyway, so just as well. Uh, keep grabbing some more iron here. Actually, we could probably spend a little bit of this time digging before we actually go back with the iron. Who knows, we might find some more. this? Hell? Oh wow, okay. I was not expecting that. Um, just looking at the timing here, I don't think we've got much time left, so let's go back with this hole and then we'll uh, continue working. Uh, I don't know if we should continue working on that side to be honest, perhaps maybe we should actually focus on another side sort of been ignoring the rest of the map for the last several cycles, so, um, wow, 33, that's quite a lot, but, yeah, still not enough. Okay. Please let this be a good defense. taking a huge gamble here, guys, by uh, exploring this side. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, gamble has <laughs> paid off. Hopefully. I mean, this is really, really tough soil, though, so it's going to take us a while to try and get this stuff out. Or maybe not. Thanks to the combined fruit and uh, other upgrade. We, uh, Managed to do that pretty quickly. But, guys, uh, what I'm not entirely sure of, though, is whether or not now we would need to think about spending our iron, our hard-earned iron, uh, into something like Health 2, because uh, we are not looking so great right now. And uh, I'm having a feeling here that uh, if we want to stay in it, we're going to need to do that. I think we're actually a little bit far here. We're cutting it a little bit too fine. Let's go back. Okay, let's take a look at our situation. 
We have no cobalt. We have 43. We could get the long blade too. However, if we get health one to try and bolster our health, we're going to need to save some more iron yet again. I suppose we're going to need less than 10 pieces though, if we're going to get to long blade two. So look, let's make the wise decision here and go with health one to at least keep us going until the next cycle. So that'll, that'll at least guarantee the next cycle or maybe even two. Depending on how well we defend. Oh my lord. Okay. Ah. Uh, I don't think the snare roots even affect these guys, right? yet. There we go. Oh lord. Okay. Um, hang on. Forgot to start the converter. Oh man. It's a really unfortunate mistake there. Right. Let's grab all of that. And let's keep working on this side. Who knows, we might get lucky. Just need a few more pieces of iron. Ah oh, yes, come on. This should be enough for um, for our blade upgrade. We are moving a tad slow, but I think we should be able to get there with some time to spare, even. Okay, very nice. So, um, long blade two, it is just. <laughs> oh, we're cutting it real fine. So I'm just trying to think, guys, whether or not we uh, want to invest in anything else after long blade two. Perhaps long stab two. Might not be a bad idea, or even reflection too, because this this will increase the shield pad size as well. So yeah, we might work towards that um, sometime very soon, as long as we find the iron that is. So. Bring it. Yeah, we need cobalt badly. <laughs> Story of our life. Cobalt situation. All right. Um, I know we've got plenty of iron back there, but I'm sort of on the hunt for cobalt here if we can find it. I'm really hoping this will sort of swing back around upwards, or hopefully we can dig upwards from here. Wow. Look at that. Lucky.
Alright, um... We have enough time to bring all of this back. Possibly. I think we had time to spare last time, so... We should be okay. Trouble is, are we going to survive without any cobalt? That's a very good question. <sighs> Here goes nothing. A stressful couple of runs guys um, look all in all though it was really fun um, and we managed to hold our own somewhat uh, I definitely think that there were a couple of you know mistakes made here and there that we could have you know avoided uh, and we would have been in a much better position uh, unfortunately, we just couldn't find enough cobalt to keep going, so uh, that's really the, the main problem. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, I think we're going to be calling it for now. So uh, let's go back to the main menu here. And uh, just very briefly, I do want to talk about the plans for Dome Keeper. I have been mentioning perhaps maybe, you know, um, wrapping up this series, and this will likely be the last video that we see for Dome Keeper for a while. I do intend to perhaps check back on Dome Keeper every now and then uh, and specifically very recently there have been uh, I guess uh, some articles and uh, a little bit of news about updates for the game so we might check out any new updates that come through. I am however considering as well uh, whether or not we would want to do a sort of a wrap up live stream if you will now I've never done a live stream on YouTube before guys so it'll be a first for me and I'm probably just gonna be sort of learning the ropes um, but if we do end up doing a live stream of Dome Keeper I'll uh, try and schedule it so keep an eye out for that if you're interested and yeah um, wouldn't mind hanging out together with the uh, the True Blue community uh, just to enjoy a little bit of Dome Keeper and see if I can survive or get my ass handed to me once more. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like, dislike or a comment or two down below. Stay true and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.